Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Bubby wanted to be in the intro so say hi Bubby. Say hi. Why do I look super orange? I'm gonna have to color correct that. But hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, it's Erin B. And today we're gonna do a little bit more of like a casual sit down, talk through video because recently I've been noticing a ton of different crochet and knit patterns being tested and launched all over Instagram search page. So I kind of just want to take a moment to highlight a bunch of patterns that are like on my to-do list or to buy list. So let's just go ahead and jump into them. There's actually a ton of knit patterns. There's more knit than crochet, but I'm just going to go through all of the things that have been saved on my Etsy and things that I'm like urging to buy like now. So, all right, so I have my phone right here with me and I've screenshotted a ton of different patterns, but the first pattern that I really want to highlight is actually this diagonal sweater by Kara's Knit ENG. And I first saw this on my Instagram explore page, but let's just take a moment to look at this pattern. It's so gorgeous and unique. And in my eyes, I would definitely say this is like a one of a kind type of pattern. And when I first saw this top, it definitely gave me those traditional Chinese Changsam type of dresses or tops. And I know that this is like a little bit different, but I'm really digging like that diagonal cut that she has. And it kind of exposes like a little bit of skin. So it does make it a little bit more feminine and sexy, but at the same time, super unique and gorgeous and also at the same time let's just take a moment to appreciate the color choice of this top and honestly what i like so much about this kind of top is that it seems so versatile just from kind of looking at the pattern through the photos and kind of contacting and messaging the girl who posted this photo it looks like you can manipulate this top to be a long sleeve blouse even a short sleeve cap kind of top or even if you just want to leave it as like a standard tank top but don't worry y'all if y'all are interested in recreating this kind of top I've already kind of messaged the lady who posted this photo and she said that this pattern is still in the testing phase so the moment that it's released I'm probably going to be posting it over on my Instagram because it's just so gorgeous but stay tuned for this pattern drop I'm really excited for this one and then of course, depending on how you make this top, you could pair this with like a long black maxi skirt. Of course, you can even wear like a maxi dress underneath this and have this be like a crop top that stands out or even, you know, the good old fashioned high-waisted jeans. So this is gonna be my knit pattern suggestion number one. So gorgeous. But let's go ahead and move on to top number two. All right, so next up is this really gorgeous like summer polo knitted top that was posted by Knits and Gigs on Instagram. And I was trying to do a little bit of research, so I can't really tell if she was the creator of the pattern or if the person that she tagged Easy as Knits is the creator of this pattern. But I really just wanted to highlight this here. And in case you guys are curious about this pattern, I'm gonna be leaving links to all of these photos and the patterns down below in the description. But again, let's just take a moment to appreciate a really gorgeous gorgeous lightweight summer knit blouse. Now the first thing that really caught my eye about this pattern of course is this polo neckline. I'm actually a huge sucker for all things that are like crochet and knit polos. When it comes to like things that you buy at the stores I would personally never really buy a polo but I feel like it looks so much more like delicate and dainty and feminine when it's knit up like this and another thing that caught my eye about this pattern is that for once this kind of crop top is not super fitted and bodycon and snug it's a lot more lightweight and flowy and with this kind of top it looks like you can definitely like tuck it into your pants and give you a little bit more of like a voluminous kind of top or I'm sure if you guys want to like throw like a belt or something over the top it will suck you in and give you a little bit more of that waistline but again I'm really digging like this cap sleeve kind of style so I really wanted to highlight this here on my channel but it's super super gorgeous and from what I can tell over on her Instagram it kind of seems like this pattern is going to be released at the very end of March. So again, stay tuned for that bad boy. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern that I have had saved in my Etsy checkout cart for so many months. Yes, I know it's another knit pattern. I can't get enough of the knit stuff recently, but this one is by Augustine's DK over on Instagram. And I've gone through her website and checked out a bunch of her patterns. I want to say she has at least like 30 some odd patterns 
over on her website but this super gorgeous tank sleeveless top is the augustine's number four pattern and the first thing that caught my eye about this is just how simplistic this pattern is from what i can tell by the photos this super cute top seems to be mostly made with the stockinette stitch so i want to recommend this pattern to all of my beginners out there i feel like the only hard part about making a tank top like this is just kind of learning how to add your increases on the bottom section of the blouse in order to give you more of that like baby doll look and that flare out top so i thought this was super super cute and another thing that i really like about this pattern is that i believe it's more of like a high neck tank top so you don't have to worry about attaching sleeves although i'm sure that is another option within the pattern but it's such a basic and versatile top you can wear this with like a polo underneath or like a men's button-up t-shirt or again if you want you can just leave this on its own and maybe even like extend the length of the blouse to kind of give you like a mini skirt nope a mini dress so i thought this was going to be a really cute option but i've seriously had this person on my radar for so freaking long and i just haven't had enough time to like bite the bullet and make the top oh there's dog hair in my mouth and again with spring coming up you know those warmer months you don't really want to wear items that are too form fitting and not breathable so this looks to be a really good option for a lightweight flowy breathable kind of top and speaking of augustine's dk there were several other patterns made by her again in very similar styles and fashion but are so drop dead gorgeous and versatile let's go ahead and move on to the next pattern that i've had saved in my etsy cart so this killer blouse is the augustine's number 10 blouse and i know that it's not really like a springy summertime kind of top but regardless it's drop dead gorgeous i love tops that have a very basic simple structure but at the same time there's like certain parts to the pattern that have a lot of flair and pizzazz and just look at the fluffiness of the sleeves as you guys know i'm not the best at knitting so there's no way that i would really know how to manipulate a pattern to get myself these like very big voluminous sleeves that kind of shrink in and then go back out and then shrink in again but this style is so gorgeous and when i was checking out the patterns on her website they're actually super super affordable i had to get like a little conversion chart because i believe the price is in a different currency but from what i can tell a lot of her patterns are probably around like the six or eight dollar mark so if you're gonna be willing to pay eight dollars you're gonna end up with a super one-of-a-kind blouse long sleeve top like this one and let's also take a minute to look at the neckline on this bad boy so this sweater does look a little bit thicker again for the springtime but i feel like when the sun starts to go down and it's still a little bit chilly at night you know 50 60 degrees this would be a really gorgeous staple piece to throw on if you guys are gonna go out and grab drinks grab dinner with your loved ones or even kind of just kicking it at home with the fire on so i really highly wanted to recommend this top but again it kind of just looks like the majority of the sweater is done in a stockinette stitch so you don't really have to worry about making any crazy patterns or designs within the top just work that stockinette stitch follow that pattern but i feel like with such a statement sweater piece it's definitely going to be worth your money so I'm not gonna lie guys i have one more pattern suggestion by augustine's dk but i promise this last suggestion by augustine's is definitely a springtime summer staple so this is the augustine's number 18 and as you guys can see it's a very simple tank top or like camisole so again really really great for having a lightweight top for the springtime and again you can kind of tell like by her style she's definitely defined by flowy increases throughout her top so whether the increases are like on the sleeve where you add a bunch and you flare out and have volume there or whether it's having increases on the body section which kind of results in like a baby doll flare top but personally what caught my eye so much about this pattern is although the baby doll all flowy section is very prominent throughout the entire pattern she does have like a border or an outline with these very thick 
I don't know what you would call it, like an outline, a border. And it's a very simple stockinette solid section all along the very top part of the baby little top and again on the very bottom. So I kind of feel like it helps to separate so much of this feminine flowiness and give you a little bit more structure and something like solid to look at. I don't know if this is making any sense. I feel like I'm talking out of my butt right now, but I just really love this pattern. And again, I want to give you guys as much springtime recommendations as I can. So this is going to be suggestion number five, six, four. I don't even know what number we're on. All right, so before I go ahead and move on to the rest of the pattern suggestions, I wanna take a very quick moment and thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. One of my favorite things about Skillshare is that they not only have classes for business, freelancing, and marketing, but they also have a ton of lifestyle classes such as how to cook pasta at home, sewing clothing, and even how to make vision boards, meditating, and even how to get started with interior design. As you guys know, over the last few weeks, I was spending a lot of time trying to create a new website from scratch. So I actually headed on over to Skillshare and watched a video by Rosanna Costello called Start Your Side Hustle, How to Build Your First Squarespace Website. And her video really helped lay out all the different foundations and like different tips and tricks on how to set up my new website from scratch. I know a lot of my subscribers are trying to get started with their own small business. So I really wanted to recommend this class by Rosanna because she really kind of goes over the basic basic website structure and content that you need when you're setting up your website from scratch. So I hope that you guys can all take some tips and tricks from her and start up your own small business as well. And like always guys, the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you guys can start exploring your creativity today and get started with new passions. You're not even ready for this next pattern that I'm about to show you, but I saw this photo over on Instagram and this was posted and created by Elena Maith. And this is her crochet bodysuit. Where do people even get the creativity to make something so freaking one of a kind like this? But I mean, I really have no words. How much can I say? about a pattern like this one. So I was going through like all of the comments to see if this pattern was released and up for sale. And from what I can tell, she says that she doesn't currently have the pattern written out, but I believe from kind of following her on Instagram that she is having the pattern currently drafted out to be made in like multiple sizes. So this is like very versatile and it can fit a lot of different people, but hopefully she does drop the pattern for this bodysuit very, very soon because I would freaking love to make a bodysuit like this one and just have some sick photo shoots in this bad boy. But this thing is so, so sexy. And I feel like there's so many different things that define a pattern like this one. But first and foremost, you guys can really see those front post or back post stitches, which end up resulting in a super ribbed effect. And also you guys, not to mention the cups on this bad boy. I feel like this would be so flattering on so many people. And what I personally really love about a pattern or a creation like this one is that whoever makes it, it's gonna like instill a lot of confidence and bravery and like sexiness within the person who's going to wear this. And that's what I love about crochet, pushing boundaries, finding your courage to wear things that you wouldn't normally wear. And you could wear it on your own, you could wear this at the beach as like a one suit or you could even wear high waisted jeans over it and then you can end up with more of like a brassiere moment so i'm really excited for when this pattern is hopefully soon released and elena in case you're looking for a pattern tester i'm freaking down to pattern test this thing for you it's so stunning so just thank you for your creativity and even if you don't get around to creating the pattern i love that you posted this kind of photo and i just freaking love the confidence that you're rocking here so thank you for that so let's go ahead now and move on to another crochet moment. All right, so this next pattern was created by String of Kisses over on Instagram, and this is her tank top pattern. And in case you guys are wondering, wow, that's just a basic crochet tank top. I can make that wrong. Here's the backside, y'all. Check this thing out. There's freaking angel wings on the back of this top. 
Again, where do people come up with these ideas? I freaking love it, but this thing is another unique one-of-a-kind pattern. I feel like this would be really hard to make on your own, so I would really highly suggest just purchasing the pattern instead of trying to fumble around and make it yourself. But although the front side of the top does look like your standard crochet tank top, the back side of the Raphael top does have these really gorgeous crochet wings. Again, I feel like there's not too much I could say about this other than I really want to purchase this pattern and make it on my own. I feel like having such a unique design on the back of your shoulders is really going to highlight and emphasize the sexiness of the back. And I feel like we don't give our backside, you know, enough attention and appreciation. So I really want to get into making this top, but it's super cute. So thank you, String of Kisses, for making this. And I hope that all of these creators don't really mind me highlighting them on my channel and just showing off their really gorgeous work but that is going to be the next crochet top again you could totally pair this tank top with pretty much anything in your closet you want to wear a maxi skirt it's got you you want to wear high-waisted denim shorts it's got you you want to wear nothing underneath it's probably got you so this is going to be suggestion number nine or eight or who knows what number we're at right now. But let's go ahead and move on to more patterns that are stunning and gorgeous. All right, so now that I've shown you guys a bunch of modern designs, I actually have a lot of vintage crochet patterns that have been saved over on my Etsy cart for several, several months. So this first one that I really wanted to highlight, I believe the seller of the shop was Carolyn Handmade. But again, I'm gonna be linking everything down below. So if you guys have any questions or anything, leave a comment, email me, or you know, it's in the description. But let's go ahead and take a look at this super cute vintage top. Now, although I have followed a couple of different vintage sewing patterns in the past, I've never really attempted a crochet pattern. So I really want to get into this and give this a try. I was actually talking to Miss Emma P. I know you guys all know Emma. And we were both talking about how we've really been dying to make vintage crochet pieces. And funny enough, Emma was actually telling me that she's about to give a vintage pattern a go. So I feel like this is going to motivate me to kind of get my shit together and try out a vintage pattern like this one. Now, kind of similar to another pattern that I showed you guys early in the video, I really like this top because although it doesn't physically have a polo collar or like a flip down collar, it definitely kind of has like the idea or like the hint of a collar without actually having to add a collar. So kind of just by looking at this one and only example of this pattern, there definitely is that V-neck that shows off your decolletage, you know, your sexy neckline. And then the pattern actually shapes and wraps around your neckline. So it has a very like unique and distinct pattern, again, without actually adding the collar. But I really like this top because, you know, vintage style, it's a lot more form fitting and kind of resembles like the 1950s or 60s fashion. So I would love to buy this pattern and give it a go. If you guys are interested in seeing a testing out vintage pattern video, let me know down below because I would really love to film my progress throughout that video. I'm honestly a little bit nervous to give a vintage pattern a try just because I know things were labeled a lot differently and I'm not sure if I'd be able to understand such old school terms and terminology compared to these modern patterns that we have out now. So yeah, I'm a little bit weary, a little bit nervous, but I would love to give this top a try. Again, in the photo, the model definitely has this top tucked into like a circle skirt. So I feel like that'd be a really easy option to go to, but it just looks so flattering and it's crochet. Y'all know I can't really stay away from crochet patterns. So that's gonna be a really cool vintage recommendation for y'all. And speaking of vintage, I actually have one other crochet pattern that I wanted to highlight. So of course, this is another pattern that has been saved on my Etsy for several months, but this was posted by the Vintage Workbox, and I'm not too sure who actually created this pattern. You know, I'm not really sure of the company that created this, but again, kind of going way, way back to like the 1970s vibe, it's definitely giving off like a 1960s or 1970s mod dress, but I'm absolutely loving the little bit of crochet lace that is at 
at the very bottom of the dress and also on the cap sleeves. So I'd love to give this one a go. It looks very basic in its entirety, but I'm sure once I get into the pattern, it's gonna be a lot harder to recreate. And as I'm staring at this photo more, it also looks like there's like a crochet belt that she uses to wrap around the dress. So again, I'm not too sure if the belt instructions come with the actual pattern or if the belt was just purchased separately and then added to the model, but super cute, a hundred different ways that you could pair and style this kind of outfit. And hey, stop barking. All right, so for my last knitting pattern suggestion, I know I've been giving you guys a ton of blouses and tops throughout this video. So I did want to throw in one of the few other articles of clothing that I've had my eye on, but I'm freaking obsessed with these knit shorts that are created by Holly C. Watson over on Etsy. So again, I'm going to leave the links down below so you guys can check it out and buy her pattern if you would like to. But again, a really great suggestion for spring and summer is a really basic pair of shorts. And what I like about these knit shorts, again, is that they're very lightweight. They're very flowy. They're not form fitting at all. And I feel like having a pair of knit shorts like these are going to become such a staple in my wardrobe. Shorts like these I could wear lounging around the house. I could wear them to bed. I could even wear them as like an overlay when I go to the beach or something. So you can just slip it on over your swimsuit. I mean, it's a classic pair of knit shorts. What more could you really want in life? And to top it off, the last thing I really liked about this pattern is that again, just by looking at the photos, I can tell that it's kind of made with a stockinette stitch and I actually really like how at the very bottom of the shorts because the stockinette stitch flips up naturally it kind of adds like a rolled hem effect so I really like that so I'm probably going to go ahead and buy this pattern very very soon so I can already tell that this is going to be a very long video because my camera has been recording for almost an hour but let's just go ahead and start wrapping things up. The last few patterns that I wanna suggest are sewing patterns. Again, they have been on my watch list for several, several months. I believe one of these patterns has actually been in my to-do list for over a year now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this first pattern. And I believe this creator also has a YouTube channel, so feel free to go ahead and check out her sewing tutorials. But this first pattern is by, this is Kashi, and this is her Milkmaid Dress pattern. Need I say more? What can I really say about this dress? There's so many different elements going on. You've got the off sleeve shoulder, which of course you can flip up and have standard straps. You've got the boosty, a cupped bralette section, and of course the midi length dress. I mean, just look at it guys. It's super sexy, very gorgeous. And although it's not really like your everyday kind of dress, in case you guys are looking for more of like a dressy dress, dress, more of a going out statement piece dress. I really highly want to recommend this pattern. It's so gorgeous. This dress would be really great for a date night if you guys need a dress as a wedding guest attendant or even heading out to brunch. So I wanted to highlight this really gorgeous dress by Kashi. And now let's go ahead and move on to the very last and final pattern. This has probably been the most long awaited sewing pattern that I've had my eyes on for quite a while. And I feel like the only thing holding me back from buying this pattern is that it actually costs a little bit more than your standard sewing pattern. But one of the most stunning sewing patterns that I have ever seen in my life, this is created by Charm Patterns and this is her Liz dress. Now, before you guys freak out and leave me a bunch of weird comments down below, I personally don't intend on creating the entire dress. I know for some of you, this pattern might look a little bit outdated and a little bit too vintage for you guys, but what really caught my eye about this pattern is actually the top half of this dress. So I know you guys are sick and tired of me recommending crop tops and tops and blouses, but this thing is killer. It's so stunning and flattering. Just look at the neckline, look at like the little brassiere moment again. And I'm a huge fan of like these skinny to fat sleeves that you could push off of your shoulder and have more of like an off shoulder top 
moment. But I feel like taking this crazy huge pattern and just kind of simplifying it to the top half, you'd end up with a really gorgeous crop top. Again, something that you could wear with almost anything. So if you guys have a whole maxi skirt, you could wear it with this brassiere top. Again, if you guys just wanna wear jeans, some black trousers, honestly, anything. This thing is so gorgeous. And I'm actually a really huge fan of like the old school 1950s, 1960s fashion. So that's what first really caught my eye about this pattern. But when I honed in on the top section of this dress, it just blew my mind. It's so gorgeous. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that the creator of Charm Patterns also has a YouTube channel. So in case you guys get stuck, you could head over to her videos and see physically how she sews everything together in case you guys get lost. So this is going to be my last vintage recommendation for you guys. It's so gorgeous and I swear one of these days you guys are going to see that I've committed, I've purchased the pattern, and I've made the freaking dress or even the top. So at this point I'm going to have to hold myself accountable because I've just blasted my secrets all to you guys and now you guys are gonna know if I'm slacking and I haven't made the patterns or if you guys have seen me post and get around to actually knitting and crocheting and sewing all of these patterns together. But I hope that you guys really like this video. I hope that I was able to give you a little bit more motivation when it comes to creating things that are kind of outside the normal modern norm of fashion. You know, don't be afraid to take things old school, take it vintage and kind of recreate things from the past as well as all of these really gorgeous modern patterns that I've showed you guys. And again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I love you guys. And I love all of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel time and time again. And I hope that all of these different creators were able to inspire something in you. Again, don't forget to check out all of the links down below with their patterns if you guys want to purchase from them and support their small businesses. I'm sure that they would greatly appreciate it. And that's going to wrap it up for today's sit down talk through video. I need some freaking water because I'm parched. I've been talking way too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, but I'll be seeing you all very, very soon. I love y'all, take care, bye.